All right, everybody, welcome to Highland Arena. Sorry for the delay on an announcer. All right, we are going into jam three. I can see T-Rex lined up for Minnesota and Sassbury for North Star. All right, and that will start the jam. Sassbury coming around the outside gets lead jammer. T-Rex shortly behind her, it's gonna be a race. Let's see if Sassbury can score any points before T-Rex catches her. All right, looks like Sassbury was able to pull out one point. One point. Next, we have Battle Arena on the line for Minnesota. This is her first official season as an all-star jammer. All right, both jammers getting caught up on some pretty tough tripods, both getting pushed down on the inside. All right, we got Laurel Almighty headed to the box. And we got a cut penalty on the North Star Jammer, Slim Sadie. It looks like Battle has pulled the cap, so this is going to be a two-minute jam. All right, Kilroy giving some defense back. Minnesota coming in for some offense up here on the apex. All right, Slim Sadie back in the game. Cap in hand. Um, Battle Rena is out and going for her scoring pass. And she's through for four roller derby points. Looks like we have a star pass. Kilroy of North Star is now your jammer of record. Laurel Almighty back to the box. And Kilroy is out. Lightning Thrash also joining Laurel in the penalty box. We'll see if they'll be able to get out of the penalty box before the conclusion of this jam. And that will be three points for North Star and an additional four for Minnesota. This brings our score to 15 Minnesota, 12 North Star. North Star starting with a pack advantage with two Minnesota blockers in the box. Looks like we have Lessa for dead on the line for Minnesota and Katarina hit for North Star. And Katarina through almost untouched for lead jammer. Lefsa fighting hard on a tripod of green. Katarina coming in on the outside. Oh, barely kept it out. All right, North Star in the front. Laurel trying to give some offense. And Katarina is through for four points. Lefsa hot on her heels. And calling it, Katarina was able to score one additional point. Making a total five for the jam, keeping Minnesota scoreless. Yeah. 
All right, I see Fanny on the line for Minnesota and Sassbury for North Star. Fanny fighting strong at the top there. She keeps pushing. And she is your lead jammer. Sassbury in the back against a three wall of Minnesota. Lightning thrash to the penalty box. Fanny finding some trouble with North Star on the back. Shadow headed to the penalty box for a high block. Crust with the force out on the outside. Minnesota scoring two points, keeping North Star scoreless. Again, North Star starting with a pack advantage with two Minnesota blockers in the box. Wheelie Nelson approaching the line for Minnesota. And Slim Sadie back on the line for North Star. Speed Rita and Malls giving Slim Sadie a little trouble. Some very good offense coming in, getting Slim Sadie the lead jammer. Shadow release from the box. Wheelie is out. And we have a North Star blocker headed to the box, but North Star was able to score four roller derby points on that jam, making the score 21 to 17 with North Star leading. T-Rex on the line. Woo, woo, woo. North Star sending out Katarina Hit. Katarina finding some room on the outside. And through on the inside line for lead jammer, North Star. T-Rex is close behind her. And Katarina able to call it for three points, keeping Minnesota at 17. North Star at now at 24. Battle Rena back on the line against Sassbury. Minnesota with the advantage right now with one North Star blocker in the box. But she's on her way back. Battle Rena lead jammer. Sassbury has the cap in hand. Still doing work against those Minnesota blockers. Good offense on the inside gets Sassbury out. Battle Rena now scoring. Sassbury came in hot but was unable to score any points and Minnesota with three. This is a four point game. We got Lessa for dead for Minnesota back on the line and Slim Sadie for North Star. Little pile up there on the outside. Lessa trying to get on the in, pushed out by North Star defense. Kilroy with the push out, recycling Lefsa all the way back. Slim Sadie dealing with four defense from Minnesota. 
Offense coming in to help. Lessa declared lead jammer. Slim Sadie has the cap in hand looking for the pass. And Lessa on the inside for four more points. And Lessa with a cut penalty will report to the box. And we have a star pass for North Star. Kilroy, now your jammer of record. Kilroy will be unable to call off this jam, meaning that this will be a two-minute jam. Which honestly is kind of everybody's worst nightmare, but it's great roller derby. Kilroy fighting through that wall. Scoring four points for North Star. And Lessa out of the box, hoping to score some points before the time runs out. Kilroy almost threw on the top, but gets shut down by Shadow. North Star able to score four points along with Minnesota. Making this a 28 Minnesota 32 game. Eight points for each team, which was a lot of work. We got Fanny Smack on the line for Minnesota, along with Katarina Hit for North Star. Fanny trying to find some space on the outside, Katarina right behind her. Fanny fighting against four defense in the back. Daryl coming up to play some offense. Minnesota getting a little strung out on the top. Needing to bridge. Pack now in front with North Star stretched out and back. Katarina able to get lead jammer. Jim Rat recycling Fanny all the way back. And we have a star pass to Anaconda. All right, North Star was able to score two points on that pass. Zero for Minnesota. Making this a six point game. Both teams starting at full strength. We got Sassbury on the line for North Star. We got Wheelie Nelson for Minnesota. Wheelie pushing hard on that tripod up front, hoping to find some daylight on the other side. And Sassbury comes through and gets lead jammer, but Wheelie's right behind her. Both jammers putting on the Jets to see if they can score points before the other one gets through. And we got two points for Minnesota while Matt confers with the OPRs. And we got two points for North Star. Even trade on points, keeping the differential still six points. There's gonna be a timeout by North Star. T-Rex is gonna take a nap. This is a perfect time to get a beverage or check out the merch.
All right, both teams starting to line up. There's the five second warning. And we're on. Katarina hit for North Star, finds some space on the inside. Declared lead jammer. We have a North Star blocker headed to the box for a low block. Katarina coming in for some points, but T-Rex is out and looking for some points herself. And four points for North Star. I do believe this is a first appearance as Jim Rat takes the jam line for North Star against Battle Rena. I do believe North Star has been doing a three jammer rotation until now. Jim Rat coming in, fighting hard. Battle looking some help from Riz, who's getting caught up blocking the North Star jammer. Jim Rat getting lead jammer. Hard fought. And we got a star pass. Lives now jamming for Minnesota. Battle Rena headed to the box for a destruction penalty. Jim Rat calls it. And correction. The penalty has been rescinded. Battle will return to her bench. One point for North Star. Sassbury back on the line for North Star. Lefsa for Minnesota. Both teams starting with a full complement of blockers. Lefsa finding some speed up front, was able to get lead jammer. Cheese, Louise, and Chu dragging Sassbury to the back of the pack. Lessa coming around to score points. Sassbury finding some space up the middle, running into Anaconda. Rita and Chu there to make the tripod. And Sassbury out on the outside, completing her initial pass. All right, Lessa called it. Did she call it in time? Zero points for North Star. Yes, she did. Four points for Minnesota. Bringing this to a seven point game with North Star in the lead with 41 points, Minnesota with 34. Fanny Smack back on the line for Minnesota and Katarina hit. And that will start jam 17 of the first period. And we have North Star Red Panda headed to the box for a forearm. And then we have a Minnesota blocker headed to the box. Katarina is out with lead jammer on her scoring pass. And we have a star pass to Shadow. Shadow headed to the box as the jammer for a cut. Katarina now looking for some offense. Got through on that pass untouched. Four points for North Star. Riz just out in time to help her team out against Katarina. Katarina finding a little difficulty on that one, but still through with some ease. Four more points for North Star. We are at 12 points right now. Shadow standing in the box. Shadow released, looking to get through on the initial pass. Katarina finding some trouble against that 4D up front. 
looks like Lightning Thrash able to create some, oh, we will be calling that jam off for safety concerns. Three points for North Star. Wheelie Nelson taking the line. Jamming against Jim Rat again. Second appearance on the jammer line for Jim Rat. Wheelie is through and your lead jammer, but Jim Rat is close behind. Blockers are gonna start racing around the rink. Wheelie coming in hot. Jammer is able to score one point. And we have a timeout for Minnesota. North Star being able to extend their lead a little bit and looking at a 22 point lead at the moment. Minnesota with 35 points and the Supernovas with 57. Both teams taking the necessary break to maybe cool down a little bit on this steamy hot Moist Minnesota day. <laughs> Minnesota would like to take this time to thank everybody who made this happen and traveled from all over the United States to make this tournament happen this weekend. We appreciate all the time and effort and logistics that go into tournament weekends. Sasbury back on the line for North Star, getting through and is your lead jammer. T-Rex fighting in the back for Minnesota as her team comes up to try and help her. We got a knockout by Libs. T-Rex almost threw on the front. Some very nice toe stop work. Sasbury currently trying to score some more points. Calling it off. Saying that she got her four points and calling it a day. Battle Rena back on the line for Minnesota. Katarina hit for North Star making her way to the jammer line. Both jammers fighting against some really locked down defense. Battlerina trying to find some space on the inside. Katarina finding the hole. But Battlerina hot on her heels. Katarina deciding to call it, not risking Battlerina scoring any points. That's going to be a 0-0 jam. North Star still holding on to their lead. Jim Rat back on the line for North Star. Left up for dead for Minnesota. I personally would really appreciate a star pass to Crust so that we could see a Crust jam.
Jim Rat fighting hard at the top, able to push Minnesota. Uh, North Star Jammer going to the box for an illegal contact. Do believe that's going to be due to some contact after the no pack was called. Lessa now the only jammer on the track. Team trying to give her some O, holding a North Star blocker in back. Crust able to get Lefsa out on the outside. Jim Rat now standing in the box. Lefsa is still eligible to be deemed lead jammer. If she can get through with no penalties and keeps the hat on. Jim Rat trying to come through the outside. Little collision with Shadow. Jim Rat is through but will not be your lead jammer. Lefsa is your lead jammer. Lefsa deciding to call it before Jim Rat can score any points. Making this a 0-0 jam. All those players putting in a lot of work for zero points. Fanny Smack back on the line for Minnesota. Sassbury for a North Star. This is a matchup we've seen a couple of times. Both jammers running into some pretty solid defense. Sassbury able to make it through for lead jammer. Fanny trying to make it through. Sassbury running into a tripod of Minnesota blockers in the back. Fanny working hard up front, almost out, but Northstar was able to force her out and dragging her all the way back. Fanny removing the cap, looking for a star pass to Anaconda. Sassbury coming around for her second scoring pass, running into Cheese Louise. Sweaty Malls headed to the box on a forearm penalty. Star pass for Minnesota. Sassbury coming through, scoring four more points. Connie is now out looking to catch Sassbury. Calling that jam, not risking Minnesota scoring any points. North Star extending their lead to 72 to 35. And that will be intermission. We will all see you back here in 15 minutes for some more awesome roller derby.
All right, friends, we're getting close to roller derby. And since we were late to announcing, we didn't get to introduce the teams to you before the first whistle. I will be joined by Chip a Tooth announcing for the second half. But while we wait for the teams to get back to their benches, I will read the roster for North Star Roller Derby. One, two, zero, Face Smelter. One, three, zero, zero, Katarina Hit. One, five, Daryl B. Blood. One, seven, Red Hot Toddy. One, nine, four, nine, Red Panda. Two, zero, Slim Sadie. Three, zero, zero, Aerial Assault. Four, zero, Crust. Four, four, Gym Rat. Four, six, Hit List. Five, eight, Saltine. Six, two, two, Kilroy. Seven, Guillotina. Eight, three, three, Bzzz Kill. Nine, zero, six, Sassberry. And skating today in black for the Minnesota Roller Derby, we've got 00, zero Mad Lips, 1-1 one, one, Laurel Mighty, 1-1-0 one, one, Anaconda, 1-3-7 Cheese Louise, 2-0 Rollin' Riz, 2-2 two, two, Battle Rena, 2-6 Chew, 3-3-3 three, 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 Lessa for Dead, 5-1-1 one, one, Wheelie Nelson, 5-5-6 five, five, Captain Sweaty Malls, 6-5 T-Rex, 6-6 six, six, Lightning Thrash, 8-9 Fanny Smack, 9-0 Shadow, and 9-2-4 Speed Rita. And now the most important part of the game, otherwise we wouldn't be able to play. We will start with our non-skating officials. That's gonna be Aaron Burr, Danger, Jessica Gomez, Jackie, Sawyer Antics, Aces and Skates, Colonel Angus, Luscious, Messy Jiggler, and Sadie Masochist. These guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And our skating officials, the team that never loses. We have Freddie Mercury Poisoning, Rivendall, Miller Light. Doesn't matter. Power trip. Drop kick Daisy. Hmm. Davis Stater and Bibbity Bobbity Boom. You know I can't read. I need all the help I can get. We are 30 seconds away from play. Perfect time to shout out some of our sponsors, Triple Eight and 187 Killer Pads. Thank you for keeping us safe. Also, we have another game this evening. If you stick around after this game, we are gonna see Connecticut take on Denver C. North Star back on the track. They're ready to get things going with the intermission clock with two seconds left. Sassberry back on the line for North Star. Looks like we got 5-1-1 Wheelie Nelson with the star for Minnesota. Minnesota is starting with one in the box coming back from this intermission. to snake lead jammer designation, Ooh. but being forced out by North Star. Quick call up by William Nelson. Very quick jam to get this half started. 
Only 30 seconds into the second period. We have T-Rex on the line for Minnesota, and it looks like Slim Sadie for North Star. T-Rex able to stretch out the pack, able to get lead jammer designation. Sadie now out of the pack, fighting to keep up with T-Rex. And a call off from T-Rex ends that jam. Looks like we got three points on the board from Minnesota. I do believe that is the first points Minnesota has been able to score for the last several jams. Ending their dry streak. That sounds right. You're probably right. We got Battle Arena back on the line for Minnesota. Cat Arena hit for North Star. Both teams at full power on this start. Minnesota opting to play four defense at the front, really slowing down Katarina. Chu dropping to bridge to maintain pack. Both jammers fighting hard to get lead. Chu making sure to communicate with her team about when they are in or out of pack. Speed Rita! With a big hit, sending Katarina to the outside, getting recycled all the way back. We are almost 50 seconds into this jam with no lead yet. Speed Rita headed to the box, joining Jim Rat. And lead goes to North Star for Katarina Hit, coming around for a scoring pass. Battle still fighting in the back of that pack. Successful star pass to Anaconda. Now your jammer for Minnesota. Hit calling to her teammates to move up to the front. And a quick call off by Katarina Hit. Katarina really timing that jam perfectly to get her pivot out of the box. She's done it a couple times, once or twice. That's a seasoned professional. On the line for North Star, we've got Sass Barry. And left up for dead for Minnesota. Lives with a big knockout to the outside on Sass Barry, recycling her back. And Sass Barry having to go all the way back to the back of the backpack to fight to the front. We've got Lefsa pushing against all four North Star defenders. And we've got Lefsa tiptoeing up that outside line to get lead for Minnesota. North Star trying really hard to get their jammer out. Sasbury pulling the cap, ready for the star pass, while her pivot is in back, giving Lefsa some trouble. A hard fight for both jammers. Sasbury now out of the top. Star back on her cap, ready to score some points for North Star. Speed Rita coming in for some offense, making it work. That was a big oof. North Star pivot to the box on a low block, I do believe. Left saw on yet another scoring pass for Minnesota. We got Speed Reader from Minnesota joining in the box. Riz and Shadow giving Sassbury a fight. Crust recycling to get Lefsa.
Both jammers now contending with three blockers apiece from each Lessa team. Lessa up on that inside with a little bit of a fight from North Star's pivot for another scoring pass. That was a two minute jam. 12 points for Minnesota, four for North Star. Up next on our jam line, we do have Slim Sadie with North Star and Fanny Smack for Minnesota. Both teams do have one player in the box, but both blockers are standing. Speed Rita released from the box. Speed Rita released from the box. And Red Hot Toddy not far behind. Out for lead jammer. Saltine headed to the box. Fanny on an impressive scoring pass on that outside. Oh, but a cut for her troubles. Fanny Smack headed to the box. We've got a two minute jam, ladies and gentlemen. Kilroy now taking the star. This will now be a two minute jam, which is a pivot. Worst nightmare. I thought you really liked that. You know, not particularly. It's so weird. Kilroy going up now against the full force of Minnesota with some offensive help from their friends. Kilroy is a long-standing member of North Star, so has a lot of experience jamming and blocking. We've got North Star blocker, maybe headed to the box. Definitely headed to the box. Fanny now on another scoring pass. Jammer race. Kilroy attempting some jammer on jammer blocking. Oh, able to catch Fanny at the middle of the pack. I do believe Fanny scored all four points, but now still fighting to be able to come back around and score more. We've got two bridging in the middle. The two packs cannot be far away without having a bridge in the middle. Fanny working again on that outside for another scoring pass. And that is our jam. Waiting on that final point score. So, eight points for Minnesota on that jam. Six for North Star. That brings our score 87 for North Star, 58 for Minnesota, if you're just out of view of that scoreboard. Neely Nelson from Minnesota running up that inside two to clear lead. Katarina hit for North Star, getting recycled back and we're doing some extra work on the outside, is now also out. Laurel Almighty headed to the box for a high block. Did Wheelie call it off in time? She did. Katarina was very close to scoring some points. We do have one block in the box for Minnesota, so Minnesota will start down. Three blockers versus North Stars four. Minnesota trying to close the gap in the lead. We still have 20 minutes left in roller derby. Plenty of time to make up the 25 point difference. On our jammer line, we've got Sasbury versus T-Rex. Both very fast, very juicy jammers. And Sasbury out very quick with that lead for North Star. Speed Rita headed to the box on a cut penalty. Sassbury making quick work of the two blockers left on the track for Minnesota. Star pass to Anaconda. Ooh. And a point call that is eight on the board for North Star, extending their lead. 
Speed Rita still in the box for Minnesota. Unable to break free during that last jam. Let me out, let me out. Battle Rena versus what looks like Sim Sadie on the jam line. Both jammers fighting hard. Might see a little bit of daylight on that middle. And looks like Battle Arena for Minnesota out with lead. Sadie unfortunately fighting all the way in the back of that pack. I don't envy you, buddy. Kilroy with another star pass. Kilroy putting in a lot of work as a pivot this evening. Aerial Assault on her way to the penalty box on a forearm penalty. Kilroy playing some jammer on jammer defense. My worst nightmare. Although a smart move if you do have a blocker in the box and you've got a jammer who knows how to block, why not help out your blocker friends? I've been told by our friends on the track that the floor is surprisingly sticky. That might account for some of those falls happening. And Battle Arena calling it off for Minnesota. Looks like going to be eight points for Battle on that jam. 70 Minnesota, 95 North Star. Penalty box is clear. Left set for dead, headed to the jammer line. Katarina Hit joining her for North Star. And we're off. Chu coming in to play offense for Lefsa. We've got Jim Rat out there from North Star who pivots and sometimes moonlights as a jammer, making it pretty hard for Lessa to get up that middle. She's Louise trying to give Lessa some offense to get that four defense moving. 4v1 is never fair. It's the worst. I know. Both jammers struggling hard to get through those packs. It's a hot day, it's a little warm in the arena. These athletes are working hard, so take a break on your friends. Katarina pushing really hard on a tripod of Anaconda, Sweaty Malls, and Chew. Cheese Louise trying to make some movement for Lefsa at the front of the pack. And Lefsa for dead, now free after over a minute of struggle as lead jammer for Minnesota. North Star with an attempted star pass. Star did touch the ground, so Katarina's going to pick that back up and pass it to Jim Rat successfully, who now gets to contend with the Minnesota tripod. No thank you. And number 4-4, four, four, Jim Rat is free. Pivot turn jammer. Lefsa able to call it before Jim Rat gets around to score points, giving Lefsa three more points. Sassberry back on the line for North Star, joined by Fanny Smack. Both penalty boxes are empty. Full strength for blockers on the track. You know, I'm having a hard time with both Riz and Libs being out there at the same time. They look Hard. very similar. 
And they hit similar too. Hard pass. Looks like we've got one number eight nine Fanny Smack out for a lead from Minnesota with Sassbury not that far behind. A little bit of a jammer race on. And a quick call off from Fanny Smack to get one point for Minnesota, but Sassbury sneaking in with two points for North Star. Sassbury was able to get her hips in between that tripod at the last minute to gain those two points. So fast. So fast. Timeout Minnesota. Scam likely running out to the teammates on that wonderfully healed ankle. Now that I've checked with Whoopsie on the rules, each team does get three timeouts to use throughout the game. You can talk about strategy, take a breath, think about where you'd rather be instead of this hot arena, but everyone seems to be having fun. Both teams holding on to their official review. If you're not familiar with an official review, it's kind of like asking the refs to take a second look at a call. Like, just reconsider. Do you think maybe, maybe it was a cut, maybe not? Do you think that actually happened? As someone who never cuts, I always get mine reviewed. You don't have to laugh so hard. That's not necessary. You don't have to laugh so hard. All right, we are ready for action. We've got... Oh, we got a new jammer for North Star on the line. That's why I blinked. Wheelie Nelson for Minnesota and hit list for North Star. Wheelie is out for lead. Hit list is your jammer of record for North Star looking for a pass. Am I going to get my dream? Is Crust going to jam? Crust jam, Crust jam, Crust jam. I'm so happy when your dreams come true. Crust coming up fast on Wheelie, trying to score some points for her team. And successfully does so. Two for Crust and North Star and three. Three for Minnesota. I do appreciate Hit List giving me what I wanted. You know, North Star putting out some guest star jammers. Celebrity jammer. We do have T-Rex on the line for Minnesota going up against Katarina Hit for North Star. Both jammers in the sad place, least favorite term, but stuck behind all that power of the blockers, fighting for lead. If you're a Minnesota fan, T-Rex really enjoys a couple of barks. Woo, woo, woo. Really gets her going. T-Rex headed to the box on a cut penalty. Katarina hit. Enjoying a power jam. Still fighting for lead. Laurel Almighty headed to the box on a back block. Katarina hit on their way. We're gonna s to the back of the pack. Sorry, I thought that was gonna be a penalty, but I was just wrong. It's okay, it's okay to admit you're wrong, it's all right. T-Rex. T-Rex back in, almost making it through without the North Star blockers noticing. I almost gave it away. Katarina hit is lead though. Dang it. And a call off from Katarina hit before T-Rex can do any damage to that score. Minnesota does have one in the box. Just kidding, Minnesota has two in the box. Riz reporting to the box after the jam has been called, which means that she will need to serve all 30 seconds. Rut row. Anaconda and Sweaty Malls out there taking on Sassberry. 
with Battle Arena for Minnesota fighting a full contention of North Star blockers. And that is Sasbury out for a quick lead for North Star. Battle Arena with cover in hand looking for the pass. And Sasbury through for four points. And unfortunately, Anaconda from Minnesota is taking a cut track penalty. Does have the star in hand, so she is the jammer of record for Minnesota. Kilroy coming in to give some offense, trying to get Sasbury out of that four defense. For those of you who are not regular roller derby watchers, you might see the refs holding up their hands and shouting, no pack. There's a little rule in roller derby that you have to stay within so many feet of your opponents. Should probably read that rule book, huh? As a jammer, it doesn't really matter to you. Excellent. All right. So you will see all four Minnesota blockers on the track. We do still have Anaconda in the box as Minnesota's jammer. Minnesota does have the full complement of blockers, though, which should help with this power start. We see Hitless back on the line, which is not one of their regular rotation jammers, but has been a huge pain in the side for our jammers on Minnesota. Anaconda freed from the box and doing some serious work up front against three North Star blockers. And from the penalty box is lead jammer Anaconda for Minnesota Roller Derby. Hitless unfortunately still fighting in the back, attempting a star pass, dropping that cap, but sneaking up that inside on their initial pass. Connie's now scoring some points for her team. Crust headed to the box as the pivot on a forearm penalty. Minnesota starting with an advantage with two North Star blockers in the box. Usually we see it the other way around, so this is a roll reversal. I had to take my microphone away so I didn't snort into the microphone. Thanks for that. We got Lefts of Four Dead on the jam line for Minnesota, joined by Katarina Hit for North Star. Jim Rat and Saltine giving Lefsa a little trouble, but still able to make it out for Lee Jammer. Katarina Hat has moved that cap, but is now out on their initial for North Star. Lefsa now looking to score some points for her team. And that's four points for Minnesota. Left side able to call it, but both North Star blockers are released from the box. However, four points for Minnesota, zero for North Star, bringing this game to 107 North Star, 89 Minnesota. I'm bad at math, but that's a closer score than it was before. Correct. Thank you. Don't make me do math. We got Sasbury on the line for North Star, joined by Fanny Smack from Minnesota. Both teams, full complement of blockers, known in the penalty box right now. A lot of chaos and pile up right at the jammer line. I feel like they haven't even moved like 10 feet. Just fighting for space. Sasbury making some headway, only two left to beat. And with a spin move, Sasbury for North Star is out on lead jammer. Fanny hot on her heels. We'll see what Sasbury can score by the time Fanny makes it all the way around. And a quick call from Sasbury ends the jam. Looks like we've got two points for North Star and zero for Minnesota. Bringing your score up, 89-109. Ooh, I can do that math, that's 20 points. A timeout being called. I didn't hear which team. It might be Black? Yep, Minnesota calling a timeout. That will be their last timeout for the game, although there's only six minutes and 22 seconds left. 
North Star is still with two timeouts, and both teams have their official review. And you can, if I'm not mistaken, use your official review as a timeout? You can, yes. Beautiful. I read the rule book. Totally read it. Luckily, if one team calls a timeout, that's an excellent time for the other team to also hang out, gather together, have a chat, cool down. I also believe this is Irma's first game coaching. Ooh, coach So Irma. welcome, Irma. I didn't even curtsy when I saw you. I'm so sorry. Hey, Scam. And Scam as well. And Scam. All right, timeout is over. Teams are ready. On the line for Minnesota, we've got Wheelie Nelson. And I think it's a hit list jam again. Hit list really taking on the responsibility of a jammer this half. Look at that, and out with lead. With Wheelie Nelson fighting not and just out on her initial pass, is going to try and chase down hit list. Ooh. Beautiful jump, not quite in bounds, but still pretty. That's Wheelie out for four points. Hitlist is leading this jam. Looking to get some points on their own and calls the jam off. Four, four teams apiece. scoring four points. This is a 20 point game, everybody. I waited until the math was super easy. Math's hard, it's hard. Katarina hit out there on the jam line, joined by T-Rex. Empty penalty box. Looks like North Star is gonna be starting without a pivot. Katarina is going to have to jam no matter what, but she's been doing great all night and I don't think she needs that help. Nah. Spin move trying to break through that contention Minnesota blockers in the front. T-Rex fighting North Star in the back of that pack. And with one down to beat, Katarina hits spins their way to lead jammer for North Star. Katarina coming around for scoring points. Coming up as Mad Libs had taken the star, but is not quick enough to score points for Minnesota. See, they didn't need that pivot anyway. Who needs a pivot? I Ouch. do. I do. Please, I do. Battle Arena and, if I believe so, Sassbury are on the line. And it's a jammer race. It looks as though Sassbury from North Star is lead jammer with Battle Arena not far behind. We do have one Minnesota blocker headed to the penalty box. And sneaky. Sassbury sneaking through for points for North Star. Anaconda will be starting in the box for Minnesota. Lessa for dead on the line for Minnesota and hit list back. Feel like they're going every other at this point, but. Seems exhausting. So Minnesota starting with a bit of a disadvantage for this jam, one in the box. Hitless hitting that tripod hard. We do have another Minnesota blocker skating over to the penalty box. Allowing Hitless to get lead for North Star. Left for Dead still fighting for the top of that pack there. Hitless sneaking by with those two Minnesota blockers. A star pass from Lessa over to Mad Libs, making her jammer of record for Minnesota. Oop, that's going to be a low block on Riz, would be my guess. That sounds right. Yes. It is very tempting to get in the way of that flying jammer. 
But it happens, Riz. It happens. You got little legs that just got in the way. It be like that sometimes, buddy. I appreciate the effort, though. <laughs> Two minutes left on the period clock. Katarina hit back out on the line, finding some space on the inside, getting lead jammer. Wheelie Nelson from Minnesota fighting that tripod. And unfortunately is going to go to the penalty box on a cut track penalty. So power jam for North Star with hit getting four points. North Star with their full complement of blockers to help out their jammer during this power jam. Oh, glasses on the floor. Glasses hitting the floor. Glad we got those up before any real damage. Riz now trying to fight to get back to the top with her friends. North Star doing that thing we like to call goading. Uh, Hate it. Wheelie out and untouched through on the initial pass. And a call off from Katarina Hit. Waiting on getting those last points from the refs. Looks like it's an eight point jam for North Star with 46 seconds left on the clock. We are gonna have time for one more jam. One more jam, one more jam. Empty penalty box, so both teams will have their full complement of blockers on the track. Sasbury versus Fanny Smack. Both fighting for lead. That's a tough group on both sides of the team. That's a tough group to fight through. Sasbury thought they found daylight. Fanny Smack with some tippy toes on that outside line is your lead jammer for Minnesota. Fanny ending on a high note with lead jammer designation, meaning they are in control of how this will go. I wouldn't be surprised if we see two minute jam. Minnesota trying to score as many points as possible to close that gap. Sasbury with the cap in hand, looking for some help. Fanny having to fight off all four blockers at the top. Laurel Almighty played some very smart offense there, peeling one off. Now Fanny only has three to deal with instead of four. Although those three are making it very difficult. Cut track assigned to Fanny Smack. Means we will take the rest of these 50 seconds in the jam as play. Sasbury fighting at the top of that pack. Fanny did sit down with more than 30 seconds left on the clock, meaning she will be released and able to continue scoring points. This will be a full two minute jam. Sasbury is out, cap back on helmet, ready to score some points. And managed to stay in and scores four points for North Star. Fanny Smack released from the box, looking for some help from her friends. Instead receiving Kilroy's butt. No thanks. But a nice spin move from Fanny Smack to get out and get some points. That will conclude the jam. We will wait for the woo woo for the end of the game. It's not over till the officials say it's over. They're waiting to see if any of the teams are going to use their final official review. Score as it stands 100 Minnesota. There it is, that is the end of the game. North Star with 143 points are your winners.